hello guys today i'm going to explain you how we can solve uh, how we can build a prefix sum in 2d array and solve different problem based on this so let's first understand what is a prefix sum uh, by taking this example from building a prefix sum in a 1d array and then we'll try to uh, do this for 2d array so let's say this is our array uh, this one is uh, on the below this 1d array and the prefix sum is sum of all the elements from 0th index till the current index i uh, for example here uh, the, uh, the prefix sum till here is 1 when when we'll reach on the first index the prefix sum will come 6 and then we'll add this particular element as well to the previous sum and so on so till here if we see the prefix sum is uh, 30 now let's say if we want to search for a range like uh, the sum of elements from this or i would let me draw this here from here to here like this is from uh, index 3 till index 4 5 6 we could just simply uh, subtract the prefix sum from here minus this one like subtract the prefix sum from uh, till here by this value the prefix sum till here so if we subtract this we'll get 19 and let's see if it is correct or not so if you can see yeah this makes uh, this i mean the sum of this particular subarray is 19 <coughs> so yeah that's the prefix sum and this is more or less the use case of uh, storing the prefix sum i have already created another video on this i will upload the link to the prefix sum uh, a video i mean you can uh, watch that video to understand more in depth now let's see what a prefix sum in a 2d array will look like so basically if we see <coughs> as in the previous example if for the 1d array we would store the sum of all the elements starting from 0th index here we will store the sum of all the rectangles starting from 0 comma 0 which is the top left corner till a particular point let's say till a particular point here so what we are going to store from the sum of all the rectangles which are uh, which have top left corner as 0 comma 0 and uh, rightmost corner as uh, i comma j so this is going uh, the prefix sum here will be the sum of all the elements within this rectangle now what's the use of storing the prefix sum for 2d array as we have seen in by storing the prefix sum in the 1d array we can easily get range sum of uh, i mean range uh, sum of any range within o of one time like in a constant time and similarly we can also get the prefix i mean uh, sum of all the elements within a rectangle of let's say some some in uh, some rectangle starting from here and ending at here let that means this green rectangle uh, we want to know all this uh, sum of all the elements within this green rectangle then we could simply get the prefix sum for let's say this this particular part like starting from 0 0 till this index and uh, let's call this one as x and what we need to do is we need to subtract this one from the amount that we have extra calculated so let me use a different color uh, uh, yeah this would work so this is one rectangle that we have extra calculated so let's say this is a also we will need to subtract the rectangle that we have calculated here as well like starting from 0 0 till this particular part that means we need to subtract this one as well so now what we can see is we calculated these many these uh, some of all these elements within, within this uh, blue one then we subtracted out this particular part starting from 0 0 till this index and we also subtracted starting from 0 0 till this index but uh, let's call the upper one as b but as you can see by sub uh, while subtracting a and b we have uh, subtracted this particular part twice so let's say this particular part was uh, c so we would add back c as you can see finding all of these a b and c and x are just same as finding the prefix sum in 2d array so for example finding for x is finding the prefix sum starting from 0 0 
till this corner which is i guess uh, 0 1 2 2 uh, corner uh, 2 comma 3 then finding a is uh, as i'm as finding the prefix sum from 0 0 till 3 comma 0 and finding this one b is same as finding prefix sum from 0 0 till 0 comma 4 0 1 2 3 0 comma 3 sorry and also then finding c is similar as finding the 0 comma 0 uh, so i'm starting from 0 0 till 0 0 so now that we have seen the, what the use of uh, use case of this uh, storing this prefix sum in 2d array let's see how we can build this prefix sum array prefix sum uh, 2d array so let me show you how we can build this prefix sum uh, 2d array initially we have a matrix of all the elements 0 then we can simply try to calculate this prefix sum let's see how we can do that so the prefix sum starting from 0 0 till 0 0 would be that element itself so let me just erase this and then we can simply add this particular element here itself now the prefix sum starting from 0 0 till 0 1 would be the sum of previous value plus this particular value so we can change this to uh, 3 and similarly we can uh, simply add all these values from the columns uh, on the first row and uh, let's change all of them uh, so this one will be 10 and this one will be 19 this one will be 26 similarly on the first column as well we can simply add this as by adding the previous element uh, simply bus uh, I'm simply by adding the previous element like and uh, some prefix sum starting from 0 0 to 1 0 would be sum of these two which would be 5 here and prefix sum starting from 0 0 till this element that is uh, 2 0 would be sum of pref previous prefix sum plus this current uh, current element which would make it 8 and in this case this would be 8 plus 6 14 now how are now that we have built this uh, prefix sum for the boundaries how are we going to build the prefix sum for the inner elements let's see for example in this case the prefix sum should be the sum of all the elements within this particular rectangle 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 we know that the, the sum till here and sum till here so because this sum till here is going to contain all the sum of all i mean sum of all the rectangles till here and sum of this one is going to have sum of all the rectangles still here and if we add this particular part here it, i mean if in this particular place this should be the sum of all these elements that means let's say if this was this was the case we would need this sum so what are we going to do there is we would add the sum of the left part uh, left element the left prefix sum that is 5 and the left uh, the top prefix sum that is 3 and also we would add the current element so 5 plus 3 plus 5 would make it uh, 13 but uh, keep in mind that while calculating these things there was a part of rectangle which was calculated twice and this part of rectangle was this one this particular part so the rectangle which is adjacent uh, which is diagonally adjacent and uh, that di diagonally adjacent to the uh, top left corner of this particular index was calculated twice so we would need to subtract this one and what the value here is uh, one so we would subtract this one from from the summation like uh, 5 plus 3 plus 5 minus 1 which would give us 12 so this is the new prefix sum and let's see if we are correct or not so as you can see 5 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 will give you uh, 12 so similarly if we are going to add 8 i mean uh, if you are going to calculate the sum prefix sum starting from here till this index like 0 0 till uh, 1 th 1 2 what are we going to do is we are going to calculate sum of all the elements from this these uh, for this particular big bigger rectangle so this uh, rectangle 
need to have the sum of uh, if we how we can get this if we can just add the sum of all let me just use another color here if we add the sum of all the elements within this rectangle and sum of all the elements within this rectangle then we can get the sum just by subtracting this rectangle sum when I say this I mean the diagonally adjacent one so let's see how we can do that we'll add 12 plus 10 22 and we'll add the current in the uh, current element as well that makes it 30 and we'll subtract 3 so we will get 27 for this particular place and uh, let me just write it 27 so yeah and let's calculate to see if we have calculated it correctly so this is 10 10 and 17 would make it 27 yeah so we are correct similarly we can simply build all this uh, prefix sum so now that we have uh, seen how we can build the prefix sum let me explain you what's the actually the recurrence relation by for building this particular prefix sum so recurrence relation for building the prefix sum on the boundaries can be very simple like as we have seen that uh, what we would do in the 1d array we would simply keep on adding the current element to the previous prefix sum so yeah for example in here uh, it should be prefix sum of i minus 1 of 0 so prefix, uh, prefix of i of 0 should be prefix of i of i minus 1 of 0 plus the current element and prefix of 0 of j that means when filling the 0 through and all the columns uh, we can just simply check the prefix sum of uh, previous column and the current element so this is how we can build the boundary and to get the prefix sum on the uh, inner part like the within the boundary uh, we can use this recurrence relation that is prefix sum of i of j should be equals to the current element plus prefix sum of i minus 1 comma j that means the previous row the top row and the the element at the uh, the prefix sum at the top uh, top of the current element and the prefix plus the prefix sum on the left of the current element minus the prefix sum till the diagonal of the current element so as we have seen in the example that we can use this uh, relation so that's how we can build the prefix sum uh, table and uh, as i have shown you as well that we can uh, use this prefix table to find a particular range uh, sum of a particular triang uh, rectangle by just calculating the prefix sums uh, the appropriate prefix sums so i hope i was able to explain if there is anything that you want me to explain properly or any feedback or any suggestions you can write down in the comment sections below so thank you guys for watching this video